All right, we got a half an hour then. I think that means like one or two more games. I may start the view lobbies a little bit early today. <laughs> All right, well, I'm freezing these. Uh, let's be the tasty whales, tasty swimmers. <laughs> Thank you for the hydration. I assume that is a a post one. Test view or regular? We can do a poll. I don't mind. I will say I do like that you can spam, spam roll more on the regular version. So I feel like I'm a little bit more inclined to do that than normal. Oh, let's roll. I don't have to buy an apple this turn. Let's just see if we can get another one of these. And we didn't. Hmm. Never mind. Let's keep it. Let's bump one of those. <laughs> I could have like combined two and then bought some other thing, but I don't know. Long term. Long term, I think I'm happier just like having a bigger chipmunk. This thing is carrying this time. You hope for regular? You've got no energy to get on your PC. I still never play on my phone or anything. I've downloaded and opened it a couple of times, but I like, I never do it. Alright, friend head faints game plus one plus two. That is very worth having. Uh, yeah, so I'm gonna take one of these, I think. I don't know what else I'm putting on the team. There aren't really any summons yet, so I may just take a stilt, because it's pretty good. Yeah, take a stilt, not touching chocolate cake. It's not bad, and actually does kind of have synergy with the mustocks. <laughs> which is interesting, but... Yeah, not, not really interested. But this, Hercules Beetle. Sell, give friends plus one attack, front to back for each battle this is fought. What? <laughs> what does that mean? Hold on, does anyone know what this does? Does it give its attack to all friends? Or does it... Like, if it has 10 attack, does it, like, go 10, 10, 10 to everything? Or does it, like, spread it out, like, 1, 1, 1, and then it just keeps going? Guess his friend's behind. Let's... Let's try it. Let's see if we can do anything with that. Take one, because I only really need one. Uh... Hmm... I'm not going to buy more apples. <laughs> I think we're pretty okay with where we're at at the moment. I guess I'll run it like this, because it doesn't really make a difference. No, this should have been at the back, because that's where the the dog spawns. Okay. You'd be mean to test out, but Yak has stolen your focus. That's fair enough. I still need to test Yak. I need to get into the habit of doing solo recording sessions. Right. Yeah, just as one at the moment. Alright, I'm gonna buy both of these, I think. So, we want you at the back. I can just stack these, and then we're looking for any level ups. Penguins are also pretty good, but I don't know whether I actually do that. I can sell Cone Snail by the Penguin. It's not bad, at least. I don't know whether I keep this one frozen, though. Probably not. Like, the, the stats are decent, but not really worth it. Okay, level up is nice. If it has X triggers, it spreads it out, starting from the front, triggering one time for each pet until it reaches the last one, then it loops. Okay. Okay. That doesn't sound very good, but at least I can understand that. No. Oh. <laughs> it's always perfect lethal. I don't want to lose HP like this. Can you still play in view lobbies on your phone? Probably. I, I don't... Okay, so... Uh, if you have the game on your phone, then you can play on the base game on your phone. I think there are some people that can also play on the test server on their phone, but we may just play on the old game anyway, so yeah, you shouldn't have any trouble there. Anyway, let's see what we get. We have a slug, excellent for you. I think we ditch this now, I'll take this. Uh, continue rolling? Another level up, yeah, we'll take that. Alright, knockout, activate the faint ability of the nearest friend behind, works one time per turn. Or per battle, yeah. I don't think that does anything here. There is stuff that it synergizes with. And in fact, if I do take that and manage to buff it up or something, then I can use it with like a Fire Ant and the Hercules Beetle. But it's kind of janky. Like I feel like this encourages you to sell most of your team whenever you sell it. Just so you can like guarantee all the stats go on one thing. Or near enough. Hmm. It doesn't do anything yet. I don't feel good about it. It, it, it interacts with this, but I don't want to get rid of anything. I'm just going to roll. Let's see if we can find more Mustoxes and maybe even try and level the Hercules Beetle again. <laughs> yeah, 
yet. All right, lettuce isn't very good because we only have one level three tier three, so we can leave that. Your ribs and spine hurt. What? That doesn't sound good. <laughs> I don't have other than when I've like broken bones and the uh, the aftermath of that sort of thing. I don't think I've had like bone pain from just getting ill. I'll probably do this. It's already quite big, and I think it's worth it just for like the level up chance. And we have it. Nice. We're fine here. <laughs> this isn't even leveled up and it's like carrying so hard. That'd be like twice as big if we had to level up. Alright, so what do you have? Uh, Nyala. I think that's probably worth taking. Maybe I freeze it first. I really do want to get like a banana on this. Yeah, just freeze it, roll for banana. And <laughs> we immediately find banana, thank you. Alright, so I can get rid of this, I can just buy it. Uh, the question is where I put it, though. I don't know. I'm probably not putting anything on the Mustox for a while, and if it's my giant backline, it probably makes sense for it to have one. Putting one on the Slug doesn't really do that much, because we do get another Monkey, but it won't interact with the Mustox, but nothing else really works either. And I know I'm going to sell this eventually, whereas I don't know about the Slug. Ah, oh, never mind. Yeah, I can put it on here and feel fine. Yeah, let's keep rolling a bit, then. No, no more of this. Pretty happy with the team, then. Imagine breaking a bone. It's not fun. I messed up my collarbone, and now it's, like, set in a bad position. It's very sad. <laughs> are there any new changes? I think these changes are mostly, like, descriptive. Like, they fixed a few broken things. You know, it's, it's mostly, like, a... Like a patch. You can see the details in their Discord, but yeah, I don't think there's anything too instrumental. Right, uh, let us, let us roll. More of this, thank you. <laughs> Baboon Sky Detempting, like, I don't know how badly we need this still to the moment. Although it's only going to be buffing a Slug, or the Nyala next turn, and I don't think I care about that. Avocado, maybe? Freeze the Avocado and then roll, see if we find another Hercules Beetle. Okay, yeah. That's not too bad. You've broken your pinky toe once, still don't know how. I feel like I've broken my little toe before. Like, I was fairly young, but I had, like... I went to walk past someone's bed, and, you know, the bed was... Had a big wooden frame thing, and I, like, swung kicked, and... The full, like... Force of that swing went into my foot. Like, just my little toe. And, uh... Yeah, I never did anything about it, because I'm pretty sure I heard that <laughs> if you, like, break your toes, they don't do anything unless it's, like, mangled. But yeah, that that hurt for a long time. Like, walking wasn't good. I don't know what to do with any of this. We need to roll. I need to find, like, chocolate or something. We have so many expendable things on the team, but I don't know what we're going for. Alright, show me a good tier 6. That is a good tier 6, but this, this buffs attack. Give friends plus three attack front to back for each battle this is fought. Hmm. I don't know, this just seems so janky. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I really want to find a fire ant. I think that's one of the best things at this tier. From the next tier, I know the cobra and the warthog and the German shepherd are all very good because they all scale on attack. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know if I can take this. It's it's better than the stilt, so I can probably sell that for it. Mm. Let's have a little look. Uh, chill. <laughs> we'll go for like another level up here. See the whale, but I don't trust that. We have a Nyala level up. That's pretty nice. And then I don't know if I'm going to be selling anything next turn. I'm probably not. They sent that to the front here. Windows are fun scissors. 
Yeah, I don't want to ask about that. <laughs> that doesn't sound like a fun experience, whatever it is. I hate the idea of getting something like stuck in a car door or something. Right, uh, so yeah, I can do this now because there's no reason to wait. Grizzly Bear, we don't have that many summons. Most of our summons are coming from these things. And it would mean my Mustox wouldn't get the benefit of the extra thing. But that'd only be a 2-4 difference. And how many attacks we get in here? One, two... We'd probably get like two triggers out. So I could maybe sell the Highland Cow, throw this to the back, and then we have something. Then I can think about selling this later when we found better things. Gotta see what this beetle does. Only when I found some of these tier 6s. I was thinking Fire Ant, but I think I'm going to abandon that now. I'd love a Cobra. I'd love Warthog. I'd take a German Shepherd, but I don't know. Yeah, I'm going to do this. So This won't work with the, the extra dog, but we're fine with that. We'll be fine. Chocolate? No chocolate. I also don't care about any of this, so I'll just roll for <laughs> chocolate now, I guess. Yeah, we're good. Okay. I <laughs> only now notice the stream tags. It's because I had to fill them in again. Normally, I leave it at the same ones, but I didn't take a... I don't have a copy of the old ones, so I had to improvise. <laughs> uh, oh, we're fine. We're fine. We got good trades. Right. Uh, yeah, we're not selling that yet. We need to find the things. We have a bit of time, but I'm not feeling <laughs> I'm not feeling great about this run. All right, come on. Something, something that scales, please. Or oh, something that benefits from scaling. All right, German Shepherd, that is one of them. Although I don't know if I can afford to get rid of the Nyala this turn, and I can't sell. I can't afford to sell the Nyala and buy the German Shepherd and feel good. Do I just wait a turn? I get more attack if I wait anyway. I'm trying to decide what I do here. Like, what I could do is, like, you know, keep this frozen for this turn, but then next turn, like, sell the Nyala and the Mustox, and then buy this, sell that. So then all the attack goes on the German Shepherd, Nyala, and Grizzly. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> sell Bear? The Bear's the only thing keeping us alive. I don't think we do that. Nah, I need to keep the team as it is for now, I think. And do I do this this turn? I think the Grizzly might stay. Maybe. Or well, maybe not. Maybe. Let's just keep it frozen. We can just, like, buy this next turn. Uh, Pitabreds. <laughs> I don't know if that's... I don't know if that's going to work for anything. I think we are pivoting next turn, though. So I'll keep an, a dude frozen. The Warthog is fine as well. All right. Going to leave it like this for this turn. Next turn, we're probably throwing. But we're at the Believer Path already, so who cares? And if we have, like, no HP by the end, then... <laughs> it just means it was worth trying something. And, yeah, immediately lost that bear. Yeah, we did. Also, I didn't realize the potatoes start, like, flashing red once they've lost the trigger. That's interesting. Okay. Oh, double chocolate as well. Okay. Alright, so we're selling the Nyala. It's going to hurt, but I need these... Like, I'm scared. I don't know how this works. Because if it hits everything multiple times, like, if this gives everything on my team, like, plus 27 attack, then that's insane. If it spreads it out over all of the other pets, then I want to sell the things that I don't care about on my team, so we get more of it on the German Shepherd and the Warthog. So in case that's how it works, I'm going to sell the Nyala. I think I'm selling the Mustox as well, because... We're going to have the Grizzly and the German Shepherds to deal with, like, extra summon stuff on our team. So I'm hoping to find a wolf soon. Uh, but yeah. The question is whether I... Thank you for that. <laughs> I mean, I could maybe do this. I probably want to, but... Yeah, not until I find other summon things to do. Because I think we sell this now. And <laughs> Janan, hello! Welcome, welcome. All right, let's try it. Let's see what this does then. So it's front to back. I don't know if this is going to make any difference, but I wanted to target like these three. So yeah, give the Rens plus three attack front to back for each battle. This is fought nine. So let's see what it does. 
yeah, it spread it out over everything. That's that's kind of janky, but <laughs> whatever, I guess. And I know I could buy chocolate, but we need to roll a bit and see if we can find like a wolf or another another slug. We need to get some value out of these things. If I had entered something, but I would have wanted to have found it earlier. Uh, Cobra isn't going to scale as much anymore. Although I could like double chocolate this and then buy Cobra. And that'd be pretty big. Because we get like 40% of its attack as extra, and I can throw it behind the slug, and then we have some sort of synergy. But then we barely have any stuff. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> I kind of regret taking the Warthog, because it doesn't actually synergize, and if I take this, then the whole team's too janky. Not bad, the beetle, did I see plus 27? It, it spread out over everything, but yeah. It was about plus 27. I think I'm going to do this, though, like... You do that. We have two Cobras. I think we have to do. That's big. We definitely want you behind there. Uh, you at the back. Uh, Like this? So Warthog dies. Hopefully hits one of those two. And then we get like lots of triggers for the Cobra. This buffs up the baby slugs a little bit. The Grizzly Bear might be like the worst thing on my team at the moment. Well, <laughs> the Warthog also sucks. Oh, no. <laughs> Damn. Wow. Yeah, we're, we're very dead. Okay, well, fair enough. <laughs> fair enough. Extremely janky. That's what happens if I try something new. I, I don't think I'm a big fan of that, to be honest. I think, again, I think if you do that, you do have to just sell everything but one or two pets. And Justice, why do you keep spamming flying fish? I don't, I don't get it. Okay, at least we can do this. Now you get paid, you will get paid, yeah. Alright, there's time for another one. So I'm just going to do like a quick speed or anyone. Don't have the bots. I guess not. Is there a bot that like, tells you that stuff? Let's try a trumpet start. Never do this. <laughs> Cutie, hello. Is the bot, like, an actual bot, or is it a regular bot that people added, you know, special commands to? There's a bot that tells you what pets do. Do you know the name of it? Because I'm <laughs> I'm not convinced that it's actually a different bot, and it's probably just a, a regular bot that people added special commands to, like, custom. I'll see, I have everything here, I probably just, like, buffed the magpie. Is this where I roll three times for, like, more magpies or groundhogs? I'd rather get some stats now on something that I may keep a few turns. You should rig this system and lose on purpose. No. I won't take that from a doubter. <laughs> My 1-1 one, one dog. Who would go through every bet when there is an update on test? I think it's a normal bot. I mean, someone would have to go through the effort to make the bot anyway. So it, it makes sense either way. And I don't know whether the trumpets work. I think I definitely buy it. I'm hoping it doesn't hit the sea urchin. All right, cool. <laughs> Let's combine these. Yeah, do you spend one trumpet? I'm going to combine these, and I'm going to buy both. And I'm going to run it like this, because I still don't know how this is... Oh, actually, yeah, let's do it this way. <laughs> okay, so we won't actually get to test it, but... Yeah, recently there was a bug on the squids, and they'd trigger even if you didn't have any trumpets. But they also trigger off their own cherry trumpets, I believe. We didn't get to use any there, which is sad. I tried to find it. I'd appreciate that. If there's actually a bot for this, that'd be kind of cool. Mm, yeah, we need to roll. We need to find groundhogs, squids, maybe magpies. Definitely don't care about the tamarind. Uh, you, I think you are also pretty good. Squid or magpie? Excellent hit. Oh, more magpies, yes. Okay, we're only going to save one gold, but I still think that's worth it. Okay, so let's send it again. I don't know why I still have this order. I don't think it's a bad order, but... Yeah, I put it like this because we didn't have cherries, but then I immediately bought cherries. <laughs> mm. It is good enough. 
You remember doing turtle pack contests and you had an orca spawn a squid? That sounds really weird for some reason. Like, I, I get it, but... <laughs> yeah, I, I feel like that would be strange. Because hmm. Orca can summon stuff from other packs. But yeah, if you're in a game where there is no light trumpets, then that's kind of funny. Uh, anyway, I have a very janky team. Do I want a Manta Ray? Debating whether I like combine those, because I kind of want to buy the Penguin, but I don't think I do. I think I can take this... I will probably get rid of something or the risk like combining the squids. I'm more likely to s just sell the groundhog though. But yeah, let's buy this. Let's get rolling. Uh, that buffs tier threes. <laughs> Do I have a tier three I care about? Maybe the weasel. Maybe we just get another like money build going. Okay, let's let's go a bit crazy here. I think find the uh, buy. <laughs> Just buy this for this turn. I don't know, do I care more about two gold or an extra one two? You saw it, it was just Nightbot. I I imagine they added their own commands then. Because I use stream elements or stream yeah, stream elements bot. And that's a bot that doesn't have like sets of pre-built commands. You have to make commands yourself. Like there's no way that the <laughs> Nightbot devs has made a sat pack for it. What would happen if you pill a pet with a faint trumpet? Apparently nothing. I don't think it actually works how you'd want it to. I don't know what to do. I don't know whether I buy this and butcher the Manta Ray this turn. I don't think I can get rid of the Magpie yet. But maybe I do. That, that means I can actually like, save some stuff. Let's just try and get something going here. Also, that's only in battle, right? Yes. Good, good, good. We have two level threes. I'm more than happy to take one of these. Maybe should have moved this further forward, actually. I don't know if we're actually going to get a win with this. It's not a very good team. But... Yeah, I definitely want the weasel to die. Okay, it did. Good, but barely. Flying fish gives XP now. It does. Only in battle, but... Oh, loads of penguins. Where is it? Yeah, friend summoned, if in battle, give it plus one experience, plus one attack. So if you get a level two flying fish, it insta level ups everything in battle. So I imagine that's actually decent stats if you have like a, you know, a wolf and slugs and stuff on your team. Actually, yeah, for slugs, you'd also get like, you get like a lot of stats because it like trigger a few times, sort of. <laughs> anyway, I want to buy these penguins. I think I probably leave the manta ray ability this time. Unless I buy all three and then sell it again. Which, uh, who knows. I'm, gonna, I'm just going to buy them this turn. I want to see what we get. Damn. Not <laughs> the Manta Ray. Uh, yeah, let's, let's sell it. I'm going to buy this. I'm going to buy this. And I'm pretty happy. So, from now on, the Baboon is going to be hitting the Manta Ray. And Manta Ray and the... The Weasel are going to be, like, permanent parts of our team, I think. They're going to be staying. <laughs> I'm glad we're getting it, but it's barely dying. I really should be moving this further forward. There we go. Okay, we have a tier 5. I'm not sure what sort of tier 5 I'd actually be after. Maybe a Silver Fox. We can maybe scale with the Blue Ring Octopus too. Fire Ants. Don't think I care. Yeah, I, I don't think I care about that. I think we roll, try and find the Manta Ray upgrade. Maybe a Weasel upgrade. Don't think I'm going to buy sell this. Let's just roll it. Let's see what we can find. Rolling for Macaque Part 2. You know what? Maybe we are. I think we're buying this. I, I think this is still worth going for. No. There's the Macaque. Uh, keep it frozen? I don't think we need it yet. And if we're selling something... Like, we, we need to buff... We need to buff the Manta Ray. Like, if we're having a Macaque build, then we need Manta Rays on the team. And this is already the bigger thing, so I'm fine buffing that longer. This is kind of too big. Sell Weasel for Macaque. Uh, it is an a -taid. And the earlier we get the Macaque... I don't I don't want to say the better it is, because it obviously doesn't scale by itself, but... You know, an a -taid Gorilla on the first... On round 7 is pretty good. What does Macaque do? It buffs... Money pets, right? No, they've changed it. It used to buff itself based on how many money pets you had. But now it's start a battle, summon one 8-8 gorilla with the same food. 
And as you level it up, a level 2 would summon a 16-16 level 2 gorilla, and 24-24 <laughs> level 3 gorilla on level 3. It is quite strong. Uh... <sighs> I feel like this squid is doing the least, honestly. Like, no one's running good equipment at the moment. Let's, I'm just going to ditch this. So we can buy that. If we can get the level up very soon, that is going to be huge for us. And let's run it like this. So the gorilla is probably going to spawn in the middle. I'm not 100% sure how it works. <laughs> Dang, that's OP. It is very strong, yes. Yeah. I've only had one run in arena with it, but I ran against them and... Yeah. Unfortunate there, but sometimes they're very good. They can, like, trade very well. Because, again, in this pack, there's, like, barely any protective equipment. Like, Pitta Bread's the closest thing you have. I don't really trust Potato, because it's... <laughs> yeah. Because it's Potato. I could run a three squad. I could have, like, one Manta Ray, double Macaque. But <laughs> I don't think I'd do that. And, like, I could do this, but... <sighs> there are so many better things to upgrade here. Yeah, see, that's good. At least for now, it actually gets pretty bad after after this turn. We do it now. I don't want to lose HP. I'm going to do it right now. And a wolf. Maybe worth trying to scale. Because we can maybe sell the weasel and use the baboon to scale something else. Hmm. Crane won't work with the gorillas. Could maybe use Blue Ring Doctopus to scale the things we have. But it's more wide and we have a smaller team. Depends what we're keeping. I, I think I just like continue rolling for now. You can get crane for melon. Yeah, but it won't work with gorillas, because this they both work on hurt, kind of. So I'm pretty sure crane will either replace coconut armor, or the coconut armor will, will replace the melon. So it won't work for this. It would work for the other things, but I don't have a way to scale them, so I don't know how much I care. Good red goes good on mechanic anyways. I mean, I'd love to put it on the gorillas somehow, but <laughs> that's not not possible, sadly. Uh, that's a pretty big level up for us. I don't think I want any of this. I mean, Grizzly Bear could work with the Manta Ray, to be fair. Not the Manta Ray, the, the, the this. Because if, if you do get the level up there, then this thing could like tank a load of hits. That's when you said not any other protection. Oh, I see. Okay. Anyway, this isn't scaling anything anymore, so I could either consider getting rid of it or, like, replacing the weasel for something. Again, these two are locked in. We're definitely keeping those. Mm. I think we can maybe get rid of the weasel. Let's get rid of the weasel. I'm going to buy this for now, but I may sell it again soon if I find, like, a tier 5 I really want. I don't care enough about this. Banana, maybe. Have one of these. Uh, yeah. We're just not going to have a tier 5. Baboon is going to do nothing this turn. I'm okay with that. This is huge. Yeah. <laughs> we buy next turn. I'm not selling something just to, like, buy a chocolate or another macaque. Because two macaques, we won't have room to summon both gorillas. So I think we're fine leaving it like this for now. And welcome back, Snake. Oh, move my gorilla to the front. Oh yeah. <laughs> this is great. This gorilla is getting a lot of hits in. Yeah, damn. We would have had like two triggers out of the grizzly, but they didn't have enough things for us. Does gorilla do anything when it's leveled up? It gets extra triggers. I don't I don't even know that there's a way to show a gorilla, but yeah. Because normal gorilla can only get its coconut armor once, you know, one hurt trigger, but at level three it can get it up to three times. And I'm definitely pumping this. <laughs> Oh, dude, we're keeping it. We're doing Gorilla Grizzly. Yeah, we're just doing it. And we already have it. I think I just keep this team. I think I do buy, sell Luring Doctopus. I could buy it, waffle it, but it's slightly more expensive and I don't care enough. <laughs> all right, uh, I'm going to send it like this. Hopefully this doesn't screw us over at all. Thankfully, the baboon will be helping us out again next turn. <laughs> What's the point in that? They just ran a frontline thing with an onion. 
So it immediately jumped to the back again. What's the point? Oh, or I could swap Baboon for Bird of Paradise. Because the Grizzly scaling doesn't matter that much, but scaling everything else kind of does. And I have a lot of HP, so if I really want to throw, then I can probably do that and it won't hurt. It's only going to be buffing three things, but it's... We're going to have enough gold to trigger it twice every turn, guaranteed. So I think I go for it. Yeah, let's go for it. All right. I'm going to lock in on this. This makes the most sense, and it's going to hurt if I don't, don't do that, and then we win this turn or something, but let's see if we can get this leveled up. <laughs> All right. I will have to sell that again. We immediately found another grizzly, which is cool. Catfish? Nah. More <laughs> grizzly. Maybe. Maybe we go for a level 3 on there. I don't know how much I care. That's just like a 2-2 two -two buff as well, which is something, but... Yeah, we're alright. Shuffle have everything back a bit, just so we can see the thing spawn. <laughs> the GG team. I hope so. Oh, yeah. Grizzly actually works with Gorilla. That's insane. <laughs> it's so good. And we're not... Okay, it's not over yet. Never mind. For some reason, I thought we were, like, at the end of the game. Uh, I'm going to buy this straight in. Like, I... Oh, thank you. Thank you, game. Now, Pitta Bread. I think we want to take a Pitta Bread. <laughs> Throw it on here, maybe. It's not going to get one shot. The odds of this getting one shot, like, it has to get hit by... Yeah, it has to get hit by a level 3 Grizzly, I think. Or something like a Nurse Shark or something. Give Monkey Pitta. No. No, I'm giving, giving Grizzly. No, you're right. Yeah, that makes more sense. Oh, this is a guaranteed extra hit, though. So the Gorilla spawns with it. You're actually right. I forgot that that's how it worked. I literally thought it only spawned a Gorilla. I forgot that it spawns it with equipment. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Right. Uh, yeah, Waffle does nothing. We're just keeping rolling. Like, Yeah. We roll three times. We get the extra trigger. There's no point by selling. So, Let's see, then. Or these. I mean, if there's draws or something, then maybe. But there we go. There is our team. Gorilla Pitter is wonderful. Yeah, I'd, I'd forgotten that it worked that way. But that is insane, especially with this, the rest of this going on. <laughs> ah. Nothing died. <laughs> Just immortal. Flawless game. There we go. That was a really nice team. Like, we had everything. We had we had the scaling. We had the super massive, super survivable stuff that gave the grizzly bear loads of triggers. Okay, great. We're a bit late, but that's fine. All right, let me pay out stuff then. Prediction, choose outcome. Six more wins, yes. Okay, I'm going to be two minutes. When I get back, we're going to do view lobbies. I'm probably going to be doing it on regular SAP, so not, not test server. So if you want to be playing along, then everyone load that up. I'll be back in two minutes. All right. See you in a bit.